I am Margaret Cho. I'm Jim Short. Welcome to the Monsters of Talk. He's somebody that we love. We love the band. We love him. We are so excited to be here with Michael Jorgensen. Hi. Hi. It's so cool. We're here at the Will Turn. We're backstage. We're a, a new band today. What do you think our band name should be? I don't know. We, we were sort of toying around with uh, Chose Before Bros. Yeah, I think that's it's good. A wordy, but... Chose Before Bros is... It rhymes. Um, it, it rhymes. rhymes. Because Margaret, she wants to join Wilco, which we all know. Right. So okay. she's Will yes. Cho. Will Cho. She could do something with Noel Gallagher and make it cho Asis. <laughs> yes. I think Chose Before Bros is good. We're just wondering if any comedian has given such an effort in trying to create their own Wilco side project as we have. I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm not I, sure. It's any, a new category. If I was on tour with you guys, I would try to short sheet Nell's bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. Well, Nell's and I, Nell's is in the bunk above me. Mm -hmm. And we're both tall people, as Glenn is as well. Mm -hmm. And we, I can't sleep completely straight. Um, yes. Because like the, the bunks are probably like five foot 11, five foot 12, and oh. I'm six one. It's like a pod. <laughs> Whose owl is that? It's like, is it a, a crocheted owl that hangs off yeah. your... It's uh, with the eyes, and the eyes blink. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's so mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. Macrame owls is just like a thing from the 70s. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's sort of like pop cultural event that you may or may not have taken part of or your parents may have participated right. in. And uh, at the loft, there's a uh, across the street, there's a thrift shop. I mean, yeah. we've gotten guitars there, but I was like, maybe there's a macrame owl at the thrift shop across the street. <laughs> and sure enough, there no. was. So I was like, all right, well, this will be a little mascot. And then for a while, we were like hanging it on a, the, a pipe for the th like a theater curtain would, would hang on. Mm -hmm. And uh, like at a certain part of the show, we, our lighting guy would focus a light and the, the owl would drop down. And it was this hilarious like anti-climax moment where it was like, I'm right, bringing the owl. And it was like a small little oh. thing hanging down that got lit. And, That's and so that, great. And that was it. And then so it just sort of became a mascot. And the eyes, I think it was the last time we were in Japan. I'm so tired. I don't want to do anything. But I was like, I'm in Japan. I've got a child now. I've got to go buy some toys. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I went to Kitty Land, which is in the uh, Harajuku neighborhood. And I was like, what are those things? Like, uh, no, I'm not going to get them. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just get those the next time we come for some reason. And then coming back, I was on the bus and I was like going to the airport. And I was like, man, I fucking should have gotten those, those eyes. Uh, I asked uh, my keyboard tech, Travis, who was staying in Japan for another several days. I know this is outside of your job description, but could you go to the store and buy these for me? And I'll, I'll pay you back and I get you and reimburse you and everything. And he totally went and picked them up for me and he brought them back. And then we didn't know until we like plugged them in that they would blink simultaneously. Wow. And I was like, we need to put these on the owl. <laughs> <laughs> you, you tweet a lot. I do. You can be reached. What is your Twitter handle? It's, it's just Michael Jorgensen. It's at Michael Jorgensen. Yeah, at Michael Jorgensen. And then um, you're also on Instagram. Yeah, same, same. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, I remember the one that's, I saw Wilco in a um, YouTube video, and it was probably 1994, 95. Uh, uh, Jeff had a cowboy hat. It, everybody looked so embryonic. It was like the Muppet Baby version of the band. <laughs> it was so cute. 